Yeah, uh, so this is my, so y'all guys, this is gonna be my first stream on Kick for the first time in seven months, alright? This is gonna be my, my first stream on Kick for the first time in seven months, so I finally have returned after seven months of being gone from Kick. It's crazy, seven months. Stop reconnecting. This is why I stopped streaming on Kick after seven months. This is why I stopped streaming on Kick for seven months because it keeps on frequently disconnecting, reconnecting, disconnecting, reconnecting over and over again for no reason at all. It is so annoying. Like, they never fix that. They never even fix that. Even if I try to contact them, they would just ask me for my, my, you know, my specs or all that. Like, my imperial information or system information, whatever it is. So, be back. I'm gonna actually test something out. So, if I try to play Minecraft, god dang, it's been a year since I heard that Minecraft background music remix thingy. Why did I put IRL? Oh yeah, I I, I just I forgot to turn that off. It's been seven months, so of course I forgot something, huh? I I forgot something. How do I turn it off? How do I turn off IRL? Because I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean leave it on. It's not supposed to be. I don't even know anymore. I, I just, I don't know. This is crazy. So, I guess once I stream, it's gonna become a VOD, I guess. So, let's just play Bedrock since it probably somehow used more of my CPU or GPU or whatever. Probably more of my GPU. Wait. Yeah, latest preview, alright. I'm just gonna kinda compare it. Let's see which one is more laggy. Does it lag more on when I stream on Kick? Or does it lag more when I play Minecraft Bedrock Preview on Twitch? Let's just see which one lags more. Let's see. Let's see which platform lags the most. This is crazy how I came back to kick after seven months. Oh. I get the same result or a similar result. It also lags on kick. Or twitch. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a bit more, I think it's a little bit more responsive when I stream on, on Kick. It's less laggier when I stream on Kick than on Twitch. The lag is worse when I stream on Twitch. That is crazy. Wow. Wow, man. It doesn't like how I'm just having, I mean, just it doesn't like the fact that I have my settings really high but I like it when they're really high it makes my game look good turn that on I mean turn that down and I just turn that down and then I guess uh, 
Let's see here. Uh, was it? Oh, yeah. So, I guess I turned on my render distance. And then... Yep. Okay, see? But I just... It's harder to see the, the sun and the moon when I have my render distance really low and, and all my settings at the lowest possible. That's the problem. It's just my computer just isn't good enough or I just don't have a capture card yet. This is a test. Last time when I went live on Kick, it didn't save the streams. It didn't save that one stream when I first went live on Kick for the first time back in 2023. I think it was back in August of 2023 and that's when the stream didn't save because after 30 days the stream was gone but now that they have VODs I guess I can try to store them maybe or archive them yeah yes guys I don't know how oh, when I was so live my... it randomly crashed for no reason so you couldn't even see the, the Minecraft gameplay that is so annoying that's just so frustrating at least that doesn't happen on Twitch. Come on, Kick. You gotta work on your... You know... The the problems. Yeah, the streaming problems. You gotta fix those stream crashes. On your platform. Testing again. Not sure. If it'll crash this time. Or if it'll be a get captured on stream it crashed so you just couldn't even see my fucking gameplay oh new hour and uh it's in the time is law actually i missed out the new hour dang it i was just too busy testing something Yep. I think it was so laggy that it... That the stream crashed on kick. The stream on kick crashed. The game didn't even feel lagging when I was playing. When I was playing the game, it wasn't lagging. It was only lagging on stream. It wasn't actually lagging for me. I'll try this. I'll try again. I'll test it again. Oh, it's struggling. It, it's more, it, it's more smooth on kick than it is on Twitch. I think I really should turn down my encoding. I mean, my bitrate, just so that the stream doesn't crash. Yeah, this is crazy. Can you guys see the gameplay? This is crazy. The stream doesn't crash. Bro, I turned on zero latency and it's still extremely delayed. It's still delayed. It's extremely delayed. I, I literally tried everything. It's still delayed. It's really delayed. I tried. I, I literally tried it. Bro, I don't know how delayed it is. It's really delayed though. It's more delayed than it is on Twitch. It's like 30 seconds delay or something. I don't know. 
for 20 seconds, probably. I I don't even know. The delay is so bad. I don't know. And now if I just wait, hold on. Yaws, guys. Yaws. Oh oh yeah. I'm in flying mode. Yaws. All right. Let me try again. So let me try this time. But uh, you know, low settings. I don't have like a capture card yet. Or my computer just isn't that good. I have a Patel PC. Hopefully I do get a new computer like 8 or 9 months. 9 the Audrey mentioned. 8 the Audrey mentioned. Low settings. Bro, why did it unpause? I have like a capture card. I swear it. I pause it. Oh, funny number. I pause it and then just automatically unpause. What the hell, man? Why? Why did it just automatically unpause on me like that? I didn't even do anything to it. To make it unpause on me automatically. That's so annoying. Just gotta go to studio so it doesn't kind of jump scare me again. Yeah, look at that. It looks smooth on stream, I guess. Almost complete smooth, not that smooth. But I don't like the... I don't like how my render distance is so close because... I can't really see the sun, neither the moon, so... It'll be hard to tell if it's close to darkness or close to sunrise. It's still telling me to use a fast encoder. It is the best encoder that I can try to use. Whenever I try to use like a better encoder on... On kick, it the stream just often disconnects and then reconnects, so that's the problem. Yeah, I have a tail PC, bro. Bedrock, yeah, Minecraft Bedrock just it consumes too much of either my GPU or CPU or both. I, I just have a tail PC. Oh, it's still. Oh, maybe because like there's a TNT in the world. Maybe because there's still maybe because there's still TNT or something. Could be because of TNT. Maybe, because TNT is like still blowing up. I'm not actually sure. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is the probably the main cause. Oh, yep. Yeah. The colossal TNT hasn't even finished yet. It still hasn't finished. Bruh. That's why I miss on the stream out touch, but that's fine. Last time I sh last time when I went live on Kick for the first time, which was seven months ago, back in August, seven the Audrey mentioned, it didn't even save my stream or it didn't save our first stream on on Kick because back then they didn't even have a VOD feature yet. Wait, don't tell me it crashed again, bruh. Don't tell me it did. Bruh, it crashed, really? It crashed? Did it crash? But now that they have VODs, I guess I can try to store it. It crashed! What the fuck, man? Because after 30 days, the stream was gone. But now maybe that... it's taking a while. Maybe it's actually taking longer than usual. Maybe. I don't know. All right. I I don't know what's going on. I think Kick is tripping again. 